Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and I am from webapp.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 19 of e-commerce website development in PHP with video. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully update our products dynamically. And in this tutorial, we are going to delete categories dynamically. So first of all, we need to open our function page. Okay, here it is. Okay, so go to bottom. After here, we create one function like function and give the proper name like uh, delete cat. Okay, then we need to first of all give the link to our uh, this td here look at here so we need to find view all category function so going to function and view all cat here it is so not this one view all category okay here it is so look at here here we have a link like uh, delete so we say index dot php then question mark the de, uh, delete underscore cat but same thing we need to declare here a category id because we are only delete that category which is selected by admin so in this case we again use this one simply equal to this one okay so now it's perfect yeah it's now perfect so guys now we need to target this variable so going down and create variable but first of all we need to give the condition like if e set dollar underscore get delete underscore get when someone click on that then what happened so first of all we need to include our function here double quotes then inc slash function dot php okay then simply we need to again uh, need this variable inside uh, this get inside one variable so here we create one variable like delete cat id okay equal to dollar underscore get then delete underscore cat okay so now we need to directly write a query then write query like delete underscore cat equal to dollar con correction variable name then prepare condition statement then here we directly say delete from main cat because our table name is main cat just because we delete a category so it's name is main cat so I say delete from main cat where cat id equal to this id which is we are captured from this get so inside single quotes okay so now our code is ready to run but before we do that we need here give the condition like if dollar delete cat execute then what happen so in that case we simply echo script slash script then we simply give the alert single quotes then say category deleted 
successfully. Okay. So now we need to redirect user to some page. So where we are going to redirect user, we if user click on here, then we need to redirect it from here. So okay, we don't need to redirect because we don't create any page. We simply just did it from directly from here. We don't need to create any page. So we don't need the windows.open uh, script. So this is uh, this is done. Now what we're gonna do? We simply create our uh, open our cat page. Here it is the cat page. Okay, just look at here. All the functions are available here. So now, after this function, we simply echo one more function like oh sorry not this one we simply echo this function so control c it control v for paste and now our code is ready to run so okay guys let's refresh and check what happened here come back to home again come back to category then when I'm going to delete this card category, okay? So I'm going to delete this, okay? Nothing is happened, which means some errors are remaining here. Let's check again. Delete cat, delete cat, okay? All are perfect. Delete from main cat where cat ID is equal to this one okay nothing is going to done so okay now let's create a page for delete so control n php select this all remove it control s for save it and give the name like delete underscore cat dot php okay then now we need to also change the link delete cat dot php and save it okay then here on our view all category here we need to change this link to uh, like uh, delete underscore cat dot php okay just we created now so when someone click on here then user must go here so now come back again to our delete cat so now we don't need it here just remove it from here remove it also remove the extra curly bracket okay control s then here we write a php script okay then I say paste it from here then echo directly we echo that function here which is created here so delete cat okay control C and then control V okay so this is done now let's try to run this code on our browser but before we do that, we also remove the category. Oh yeah, in source code, we do. Uh, we need to remove this from here, this function from here. Okay. So now let's try again. Click on card delete. Okay. Look at this call undefined function delete cat just because. We don't include our function page. Include inside double quotes. We say inc then function dot php. Okay. Now let's get back again. Refresh it. I am going to click on card. Okay. So again, cannot redeclare really add underscore card. 
uh, where we redeclare cat underscore cart or uh, add cart. So it is here add cart. We don't declare again it. So let's get back here. Delete cat. Okay. It's the category. All are perfect, but uh, it's give error. Okay, let's uh, redirect user to our same page. Echo. Then double quotes. Then script. Script over. Then window dot open property. Then single quote comma single quote dollar underscore self for the in same page and where we are going to redirect our user just we direct uh, we redirect our user to this page so we need to simple copy this one from here by control c paste it from here by control v now save it now let's get back again when i click on card okay it's give error that is previously the declared uh, on function line number 15 what's the problem on line number 15 let's check line number 15 here it is add cat what's the ma what's the matter here add cat add sub cat add pro all are perfect man why it's not coming going to source code Set so dollar score get delete cat. Someone click on here, then it's say it's run this function. So it's simple and it is I think it is not the error. We miss something here. Yes, look at here. We don't need a function here, we need a here database connection db.php. It's a big mistake. So let's get back again. Click on card okay look at this now now look at here category deleted successfully when i click on ok then look at here the category is deleted successfully so now let's be, uh, get back again our category card add category okay then refresh it again okay look at this now card is available but uh, we also have a problem when someone click on add category then he also redirect on this page so let's find the add category page add cat here is the first one yeah here we need to declare a echo echo then script then we need to window dot open then single quotes single quotes dollar underscore self where are you uh, user redirect user redirect on this we all cat page so now let's get delete again our delete uh, card dot uh, cards okay when i click on okay it's redirect and our card is deleted successfully when i click on card and add category again then it's must we all look at this now it's redirect here perfectly so it is the trick where you can delete the products one by one so we use a, see, this simple trick to delete our user uh, sorry our category so this is about how can we delete the category dynamically so guys this is i think this is enough for today so we complete all the things on our category like we display all the category names we also update our category from here we also delete our category from here and we also add new category from here so this is how can we done all these thing in only one page so guys i think this is enough for today in next tutorial we are working on this delete button of our subcategory so this is enough for today guys if you guys are uh, like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question then comment below please put your comment inside the comment box because i 
I am I want to know what are you thinking about it and guys one more thing do practice your code very well and very uh, very hard because practice make men perfect so we need a more practice to learn PHP so guys this is enough so and one more thing guys do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel because it is very important for you for latest update of my channel videos directly into your inbox so don't forget to subscribe so guys thanks for watching stay connected with me stay tuned thanks for watching goodbye